My friends, I am speaking to you from Anu, the iconic museum of the Jewish people in Tel Aviv, Israel, previously known as Beit HaTutzot, the museum of the Jewish diaspora. That is the largest and most comprehensive museum of its kind in the Jewish world, playing such a leading role in telling the story of Jewish history, a 4,000-year-old story. But not every chapter of Jewish history has been triumphant. Just the opposite. The story of Jewish history, particularly these last 2,500 years, since the exile from Jerusalem following the destruction of the first holy temple, has been the story of oppression, persecution, martyrdom, subjugation, coercion, from the Crusades to the Inquisition, from the pogroms to the Holocaust. And at Iskor, at the conclusion of this memorial service, we recite the prayer of Av HaRachamim, those haunting words, Kehilot HaKodesh, Shemasru Nafsham Al Kiddushat Hashem. We recall those sacred and holy communities that sanctified their names for the sake of God's holiness. And I am standing here in this exhibition hall that recalls many of these beautiful communities, their synagogues, that were destroyed. They were destroyed by those who wanted to eliminate, to eradicate the Jewish people, particularly this very famous synagogue, the great synagogue of Warsaw, Poland, that was known as the Tomaksky Synagogue, 1943, as the Nazis crushed the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. This was the last edifice of the Jewish community that was destroyed by the Nazi regime. This past week, celebrating the Passover festival here in Israel, my dear wife, Simi, my beloved son, Brendan, and I were privileged to be hosted by the president of Israel, my dear friend, Isaac Herzog, his first lady, Michal, at a luncheon in the Beit Hanasi, the president's house. And while I was sitting there with the Herzogs, enjoying such a delicious and memorable afternoon, I reflected on the central meaning of Israel to the Jewish people, particularly during this Passover season, how the state of Israel has freed Jews around the world, has freed us from the shackles of Jewish history. It's Israel that broke the chains of persecution and exile. It is the state of Israel that has reversed the role of the Jewish people on the stage of history, particularly that frightening crescendo, the Holocaust, where six million Jews 
were murdered. Today, we as Jews walk the earth with a new sense of pride and self-respect only because of the Jewish state, only because of the states of Israel. It is Israel that has chartered a new and more dignified role for our people. So from this museum of the Jewish people anew, during this Passover season that is followed by Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Remembrance Day, and Yom HaAtzma'ut, the 74th anniversary of the establishment of the State of Israel, let us celebrate and let us remember that more than Israel has taken the Jew out of the diaspora, it is Israel that has taken the diaspora out of the Jew. Chag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom to all of you.